and it's been a while since I've been on this, but I had to get back on it. I've been meaning to, and uh, I finally did today, and I'll tell you right now, once again, with the big old conversion, uh, com ah. damn it, I wanted to use that word, the big controversy of today is the day we have caught our killer. I am still um, not on board with the Allen capture and Mr. Allen being the murderer. And now my thing's freezing up. I will smash you, you fucking phone. I would like to mention that I heard something through the grapevine. A YouTuber covering this case died. But, okay, you say died. And the, uh, so, um, the uh, controversy around that is it is. story two podcasters unseal trove of hidden documents in suspect's case all right in two jailhouse calls this better not screw up um supposedly Allen has admitted to killing the girls but they are also saying that Alan's mental health is failing. Um, well, this is supposed to be the CVS where he worked. Now, Prisoner of war, huh? So he's supposed to be confessed to the killings. His mother and wife, no less than five times. He defense team arguing Alan's mental health is declined. And I even said that in one of my previous videos that he is not looking good at all. And in this next photo, which you better come up, damn it, with my phone freezing up here. Come on. Not look good in these friggin' pictures. Yeah, that third picture there, but I want to show you the full picture of him sitting there. Look at him. This guy has literally lost significant weight. Now... Murderers, killers, you know, the whole nine yard shebang. If someone kills somebody, their health don't decline. If someone killed somebody, they brag and rag about it. They rant and rave, and they're proud of their doings. This guy literally does not look like no killer, and nor does he look at him in his first two previous photos, of which he is, you know, a bit overweight, got a double chin. He looks pretty much healthy, but where he has lost significant, significant, um, yeah, I forgot that, significant weight 
and looking like this now. And this is just humiliating him. And of course, right, he ain't looking at no cameras no more. I mean, being in jail, I can tell you, for me being in jail for a year, all right, for an assumption, for something that was never proven in the court of law, but yet I was guilty until proven innocent. It's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. These days, no, you're guilty until proven innocent. Laws have changed. The books haven't been rewritten, but that's how they do things now. And in my case, there was no proof. There was plenty of witnesses, but yet nobody showed up. Nobody participated in what they were supposed to do. And why? Because they knew there was no proof. Obviously, they knew there was no fight because there was no proof to what they said that they were saying that I did, which I never did. You know, and that's all I'm going to say on my case. You have no proof, no evidence, no nothing. And they convict you anyways and send you off to jail. Yes, I was going mad in there too. I can tell you that right now. I mean, I didn't do what he did because yeah, I wasn't convicted for murder, but you know, I probably would have done a different path for murder is right, or being even convicted of murder and not and being innocent. Oh yeah, I would have went down this guy's route. I know damn well I would be looking like him is right. Because if no one's listening to you and if nobody is, um, you know, giving you the benefit of the adult, let alone bringing evidence, which this guy supposedly had multiple knives in his house. And the Delphi murder, once again, here we go. Still no hard evidence of showing the pictures on how these girls were friggin' killed. But supposedly a knife was used in the murder along with the gun, but yet they have not yet submitted this stuff especially the photos everything else is out on the table and yet the only thing I want to know is um, this hidden evidence that we have here in this thing can I go What is this? Junk? Yeah, here we go. As you can see, I feel like there's been very little information given so far up until June 28th. Really? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm just trying to see another instinct. See this there and there's nothing saying of what they have. Reported that there was some sort of critical clerical error or misfire filing of a tip in that it was not properly processed. Can ex can explain we're standing by the report for now. We'll learn more information. What is this? <laughs> Do not arrest Alan to about five years later. He's also said that they link, uh, linked Alan to the crime after investigators found an unspent bullet at the scene that had been cycled through a pistol he owned. Yeah, right. And, and, and it's pretty funny that this is all they have. And you could keep reading that because I think that's all what they're doing with this. And it don't say nothing no more. I hate when these articles come up and they say, oh, more information. And there ain't nothing there but a crock of shit. And this uncycled fire bull fired bullet that was found at the scene. Okay. This is pretty funny that all of a sudden now that's coming out when they raided his house. I mean... What could have possibly happened to another YouTuber that's getting suspicious 
uh, you know, investigation on for someone to have said something that was the truth. I don't know. All I know is I'm just going on what I think, thoughts, theories, ideas. This is it. That's all you get on my channel. But yet, there's still nothing coming out of this case. Besides this, oh, linked Allen to a crime investigation found an unspent bullet that was cycled through a pistol he owned. Yeah, a pistol that they could have rightfully took him out of his house along with the bullet. And then all of a sudden, yeah, this, is, this is the part of the investigation now and we have the killer. This is the day. Oh, man. I don't know, man. This, this case is just getting more and more funkier. I think before this case is solved with any hard proofed evidence, Alan's gonna die in jail due to his declining mental health state. Or he's just gonna be so declined that he ain't even gonna be able to be fit to stand trial and he's gonna be in a mental state in which he's never gonna come out. And yeah, and if, if he was in the military, and if he was prisoner of war, and he's having these flashbacks, he's definitely going to lose his mind. And then what? He's just going to end up, they're just going to end up closing the case because he always mental health now, and he's going to spend the rest of his life either in a mental institution. That's probably where he's going to go. But for him to decline in hardcore killers that kill and don't give a damn rat's ass who they killed and they'll sit their life in jail and they'll take and own up and never decline in health all right there's something wrong with this situation my phone's freezing up i hate when it does it but read that section again just keep reading that because I think it's a crock of sh <laughs> beep yeah that's right you got the young sketch you got the old sketch still up neither sketch resembles Alan then you got that bridge guy photo screenshot off a of video and even that does not look like Alan I'm sorry so I'm still up in the air and right, we're all up in the air. And how long is this going to continue to prove this man murdered these two girls? All I see this happening is, um, they're hoping that this will just wash away down the sink. Whoosh. Wash your hands and people will just say it's him and We'll get this done and over with, and the case is closed. But until I see that hardcore evidence, especially I want to see the goddamn crime scene photos. I want to know and see what knife he used from his house, let alone this bullet. Because obviously, they supposedly say the bullet was just for to scare her, the girls. But, okay, if that was the case, why would he leave a bullet or even click one out of a chamber or let alone trying to load the gun while he's doing this? It's, you know, there's so much stuff that is missing that has been said that is still. What about the dolls? Right? The creepy dolls set up around. All this other friggin' information that is out there that is not into this case. And, you know, and we're just sitting here listening to this crock of beep. This full pot, crock pot of caca being cooked up for what? Just so they catch somebody, have somebody to say they caught them and we'll get it out of the public's eye. It will be sealed, closed, and later on there will be no double jeopardy or anything because, right, whoever really did it will be sitting there laughing their ass off 
and Alan will just decline of mental health and die because, right, he knows he's not the killer and he's being set up. I don't know, whatever the case may be. This is one of them cases, man, that is far out. I mean, you, you got to admit there are millions of kids out there that are missing. But yet these are the cases that will drive you insane. Just like the Maura Murray case, just like the Taj Narbonne case. It's just these cases stick out. Why? Because there's no good ending. The story does not get properly closed. The chapter never ends. It's just a book that's going to be keep being written and written and... The only way they're going to close this case is if they get Alan to confess or whatever they're trying to do with this man, which he supposedly already confessed, but you know what? It's not sticking. And if he's (laughs) declining mental health and just saying it because he thinks he's going to get out, yeah. I mean, that ain't good for him either, but... I don't believe this story at all. I don't believe they that today was the day. I don't believe Alan's the killer. Because if he owned up to it and if he was the killer, he wouldn't be declining with his mental health. There's been a lot of known killers out there. A lot of known stone cold killers. That sit in jail. And they will... You know, run the system whether or not they get the death sentence or whether or not they're in there for life. They still hold and maintain that stone cold look and feelings. Nothing will break them. Not a prison, not the walls, not nothing will break them. They will continue to live like they do because they know they did it. And that's that. Alan, on the other hand, he knows he didn't do it, and this is breaking him down. But who am I? Just a spectic on the map. Just someone that sits there and, you know, is filling us with a line of bull beep himself. That's right, you talk about a crockpot full of shit. He's got crock full of shit. But you know what? I know a lot of criminals, been around a lot of criminals, (laughs) went to jail with criminals, and I have a little experience, so, you know, and I don't, and when I sat in jail, yeah, I was going crazy, but I didn't let my health decline like him. If I know I didn't do something that's right, and I didn't get convicted for it, but I sat in jail anyways. I fought. I kept fighting. But because this man is not a true fighter, and, right, he's put somewhere where he's never been before, and jail can take you down. You can either deal with it, or it will cripple you. I watch a man that, when I first went into jail, he sat and laid in bed, and... When someone was telling me that guy in that room never gets out of bed unless it's for lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Other than that, he stayed in his bed through tear time, through TV, you know, it doesn't matter. He slept. He just laid, whether he was sleeping or not, he just laid there. And that he, some people do that. Some people lose their mind. Some people freaking lose their meds and can't take them and die. And some people are like, Alan, ain't used to being locked up behind walls. And when you get someone that ain't ran the streets, say so, like me, you know, I had family members that went to jail. I visit people in jail. I know what jail is. And due to the fact that I, you know, have experience on it, that's how I survived. People telling me about it. People, you know, knew about it. And when I actually went, yeah, I survived. But this guy, he ain't going to survive in there. Already can see it. 
A lot of people can't survive behind them closed walls 24-7. He's one of them. But, especially when you're not brought up on the wrong side of the tracks like I was, even though your life is one concealed jail, you're sitting there trying to fight and dig and claw and do something with yourself, but yet you find yourself flat on your face. But other than that, folks, this guy, I don't know, man. This case is just look like it's just keep running and running. Now it's another year gone by. Going to be another two years now. Let alone, when are we going to get a real, true conviction? Because I don't think Alan's it. So other than that, what do you think? And if anybody tries to come and get me missing... You're going to have a terrible fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't come around my door. There's no suspicion around this end, boys. You don't want to mess around this way. No, 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 no. Because I know the rules. I know the laws. And I do know the other side of the tracks. But other than that, be safe, take care, everybody. This is a case that's mind-boggling of its own. So I want this proof of this conviction. Just like everybody else. I don't see it happening. What do you think? Out.